Hi guys, Josh from TT101. Today I told you guys I was going to be doing a review on the RNP ammunition. This is the polymer ammunition that I did a video on the other day. And I said I was going to be shooting at this bowling ball right here. I want to see if it fragments and then I'm also going to shoot a regular full metal jacket bullet at this bowling ball and we'll see what kind of damage it does. So I'm going to step back about maybe 10-15 feet and I'm going to take a shot at this and uh, yeah we'll go from there. All right, you guys ready? Oh. Helps if I load a bullet in. <laughs> oh! Popped a chunk of it off. Still fragmented pretty well. It, I didn't have any fragments come back and hit me. That is pretty sweet though. I'll bring that up close so you guys can see it. Holster my weapon here. If I can get the clothes out. There you go. You guys can see that there. Took a nice size chunk out of it. So now I'm gonna shoot this with a standard FMJ. It's a 115 grain projectile, and we'll see how that what that does to it. I'll switch it out on this side here. I'll take that. All right, guys. Again, I'm about 10, 15 feet back. Might go back a little bit farther. I'm a little scared now. <laughs> All right, we're ready here. <laughs> I had a piece come back. <laughs> See, now that's crazy. Now this one, that is pretty, I did not expect that at all. It actually only gave a little dent compared to the RMP ammunition. And if anybody can figure out why it did that, again, let me find that spot where the FMJ just hit. It's right here. If anybody knows why that happened, I'd definitely like to see that down in the description below. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and you guys stay tuned for more interesting videos. Take care. One more thing. I just want to show you guys that it could shoot off a full magazine, roughly a full magazine. I've got 16 rounds in here. Now I'm shooting this out of my Glock 17 and got one round in the chambers. So I'm just gonna blast through them all and then we'll see if I have any hangups. Lock back. Everything seemed to function fine. I'd highly recommend buying this ammo, guys, if you guys were looking for some semi-cheap, interesting range ammunition. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and remember, stay tuned for more interesting videos.